Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about CryptoTag's newest seed phrase backup solution called the Loki. If you've been following my channel, you know how strongly I feel about having a hardware wallet to store your crypto assets in. Things are picking up in the crypto sector, a lot of excitement, a lot of new people coming into the sector, and you know what that means. There's going to be a heck of a lot more drains because these hackers are out there and that is their goal is to look for weaknesses. Now, all that we could do is try and be as proactive as possible. And that's why I really recommend a hardware wallet. If you want to learn more about hardware wallets, I will link a few of my reviews in the description. When you set up a crypto wallet, whether it is a hardware wallet or a software wallet, a seed phrase is generated. Usually. 12 or 24 words. And the first thing we tend to do when we create that wallet is write down that seed phrase on a piece of paper. Now this 12 or 24 word seed phrase is extremely important. Put it this way, if you were to lose those 12 or 24 words, you will completely lose access to those assets. There's nothing that anybody can do and that's why it is crucial to have a good backup plan for your seed phrase. When we think of things like fires, floods, humidity, ink running, any of those options could completely destroy your seed phrase. Now, a few of the specs on this metal titanium seed phrase backup. The Loki is made of high quality titanium. The Loki is compatible with most of the wallets out there because it follows the BIP39 and the SLIP39 standard. So whether you're using a ledger a Trezor, a Keystone wallet, or a plethora of the other existing hot wallets out there, you are good to go. The CryptoTag Loki has been tested in temperatures of up to 1,665 degrees Celsius or 329 degrees Fahrenheit. And since the Loki is made of the high quality titanium, it is also waterproof. You can also view the testing facility for these claims on the CryptoTag website. So as you can see, with the titanium metal seed phrase backup, you are in a completely different world when safeguarding your seed phrase with the CryptoTag as opposed to a piece of paper. But what I do like about CryptoTag is once again their support. Any questions that I've had, I've reached out to them. They've responded quickly every time. And when it comes to safeguarding my crypto assets, customer support is extremely important to me. And it should be for you also. I've reviewed other crypto tag seed phrase backups in the, in the past, and they are still in use today. But what I do like about this Loki, not only is it much more budget friendly than other crypto tag products, but it's also much simpler to use. Other crypto tag products have similar setups as far as being able to engrave and punching in your seed phrase into the titanium plate, but they also use a numbering system. So you would look up the BIP39 pool for that specific word in your seed phrase, find the corresponding number from it, and once you have that number, you would then punch it in or engrave it into the titanium crypto tag plate. Well, with Loki, you don't have to do that. There's no need for numbers. All you need is the first four letters of that word in your seed phrase from that BIP39 or SLIP39 pool of words and punch in the first four letters, making it much easier. I no longer need to take that extra step of looking up the number for that specific seed phrase word, then punching in that number, and then reversing that when I actually need to recover my seed phrase. With the other crypto tag solutions, I always worried, well, what if I didn't have internet access while I'm trying to recover my seed phrase, or I didn't have the accompanying pamphlet that had the numbers and the words from the pool so that I could get the numbers, match it up, know what the word is, and restore my seed phrase. That's all taken out with the Loki. Now, currently, these Loki seed phrase backups are on pre-order and there is a discount that comes along with them so if that's something that you want to get your hands on i highly recommend getting in there and getting that discount and if you use promo code coach Helder, you'll also get an additional discount at checkout you know i want to go ahead and take a few minutes and just show you how simple it is to actually engrave and utilize the loki by crypto tag and get it set up I'm only going to do a couple of words just so you get the gist of it i have my sample 12 word seed phrase now keep in mind this is not a real seed phrase 
just put this together for the purposes of this video. And what I'm going to utilize are these first two words as far as engraving it into the actual Loki, just to keep this uh, time efficient instead of going through all 12 of the seed phrase words. Okay, so here on the Loki, you'll be able to tell that you have numbers 1 through 12, which is sufficient for a 12-word seed phrase. And if you do have 20 or 24 words on the backside, you'll be able to account for that. On the Loki itself, on the left, you have letters ranging from A all the way down to Z. And there are four available spots for each number. Keep in mind, once again, that for the BIP39 pool, you only need the first four letters and none of the words repeat after the first four letters, and that's why there are four available spots for each number. So as an example here, as we go back to our paper seed phrase, we have the word ship. So ship would be the first word that we do put into our Loki. So we have word number one, you could tell here up on top is number one, and what we want to do is the first four letters. Ship only has four letters. So we're going to look for the letter S. And that will be the first letter that we're going to pencil in with our included crypto tag pencil. Okay, so I'm here looking for the letter S. And I'm going to go ahead and pencil that letter S in. Okay, now from there, we need the letter H. And that would be next. So here we're going to still be in number one because it's the first C phrase word. And we're looking for the letter H. And we're going to go ahead and pencil the H in. And now the next one is I. And we're going to go to the third spot here and color in the letter I. And then the last letter, which is P. So we'll go here to the fourth slot. Look for the letter P. Everything is in alphabetical order from top to bottom. And we're good to go with our first word in our seed phrase, which is ship. So we have S, we have H, we have I, and we have P. Same thing we did for word number one. We will now move over to the second slot. And we're going to put in the word pull. Okay, so from here, we look for the letter P in the second slot first letter so here we are p Col pencil that in the next letter is u in the word pull so we'll go down here to u and pencil the u in and then we have the letter l go over to the third slot here and we will pencil in the letter l and the final letter is also letter L in the word pull. So we will pencil that in in the fourth slot. Okay, so as you could tell here, we have two words completely done. You would go ahead once again when you are setting this up for real. If your seed phrase is 12 words or 20 words or 24 words, you'll want to go ahead and do what I just did in the first for the first two letters. You will do for the rest of your seed phrase. Once again, 12 words, you're good with one side. And if you need 20 or 24, you'll be able to utilize the backside. Okay, always remember before you even get into the engraving process, which is our next step, and I can't emphasize enough, go back to your paper seed phrase, recheck, triple check, quadruple check, before you actually begin the next step, which is the engraving process. Remember, if something's wrong here, with the crypto tag pencil no problem you can go ahead and delete it but when it comes to the engraving process you got one shot at it so as i said triple check quadruple check make sure everything's good to go before you begin engraving utilizing this engraving tool there's a little bit of a spring here and the way that it's activated is now you're going to press the tip here into the actual titanium loki plate centered on that penciled in letter double checking it triple checking it and the movement is going to be as this is on that letter, you're going to press down. Okay, you're going to use a little bit of strength to make this happen. And once enough pressure is applied, the front here of this tool 
will recess into the titanium plate, engraving that letter permanently in to the plate. Now there are some included earplugs here depending on the surface and even the room that you were working in. Definitely not a bad idea to utilize these included earplugs because you'd actually be surprised the sound that this actually makes as you are engraving the letters into this Loki titanium plate. Okay, you wanna make sure that you have a good sturdy surface behind you. I'm gonna take the tool I'm going to go ahead and get on top of that first letter, which is the S. Make sure that I'm perfectly in there. And what I'm going to do now is add a bit of strength and press down on the tool. Nice and centered. Told you it was a little bit loud. Okay. So as we get here now, you can tell that that letter S. So we'll go ahead now and do the rest of the letters for these first two words. Okay, I'm on the letter H now. Repeat that step, just pressing down. There's our H. Next letter is I. Move right over to the letter I, making sure it's nice and centered as far as the tool. And I'm gonna go ahead and press down on that. And now we need the fourth letter, which is P, to finish up our first word. Hey, I'm centered under there, pressing down. That first word is punched in, ship. We have our S, H, I, and P. So I'll go ahead just for instructional purposes and fill in that second word since we already penciled it in. As you can tell, they are engraved in there and engraved in there for life not going anywhere you can have this that burns and gets wet humidity all sorts of stuff or you can trust your seed phrase to this choice is yours they also want you to keep in mind as far as numbering wallets if you have multiple wallets you can also engrave it down here gives you up to four wallets so let's say if you had an eth and you would that would be your number one wallet your BTC wallet, that could be your number two, and your Solana wallet number four, just as examples. On a side note, I've also gotten questions in the past of why do these companies need to put their logo on the seed phrase backups? That's going to give it away. If somebody were to find it, they'll know right away that it's a seed phrase backup. Well, let me put it this way. If somebody other than people that you want having access to your seed phrase finds this, don't worry about the logo, you're already done. They already found it. No matter what it is, if they're curious and it had nothing on it, it had no markings on it or had a radiation symbol on it, you already lost. Your job is to protect this seed phrase backup at all costs. Because once again, if you do lose this, you lose all of your assets. I cannot stress that enough. I've seen it happen a few times and I hope I don't see it happen again, but I'm sure just with the odds of numbers, it will happen again. So listen to what I am telling you. Hide this seed phrase. My advice to you is to hide this seed phrase back up in a place where you don't think anybody will find it. And the fact now that it is waterproof and fireproof gives you that many more options. I do recommend sharing it with at least one of your loved ones, family members, somebody that you trust. So if something were to happen to you, uh, mental incapacitation, or worse, your loved ones will still be able to access your crypto funds. I've had viewers comment and tell me, hey man, that's a great solution, but you know what? They're a bit pricey. Well, what's it gonna cost you if you lose all of your crypto assets? Is that pricey to you? So there's certain things that I am the first one that wants to save money on certain things. And then there are other things where you gotta spend a little bit of money in order to have that peace of mind and to just do the right thing. So bottom line, if you are in the market for a seed phrase backup that is a cut above the rest, it is fireproof, it is waterproof, extremely simple to use, and most importantly, allows you to sleep much comfortably at night knowing that your seed phrase is protected. Definitely take a look at this new Loki by CryptoTag.